Have you ever felt a shiver down your spine? A sudden urge to do something you wouldn't normally consider? Have you ever wondered if someone could control your mind just by talking to you? Today, we delve into the murky world of Neuro Linguistic Programming, or NLP, and its often misunderstood connection to the dark side of human behavior, dark psychology. Is NLP a powerful tool for communication and personal growth, or a sinister technique used to manipulate and exploit others? Buckle up, because we're about to separate myth from reality and expose the truth about NLP. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. What is NLP? Now that we've set the scene, let's shed some light on NLP itself. NLP stands for Neuro Linguistic Programming. It all started back in the 1970s with two gentlemen, Richard Bandler and John Grinder. These fellows were fascinated by the idea of how our brains process language and how it impacts our behavior. Basically, NLP is all about understanding the connection between our neurology, how our brains work, language, how we communicate, and our programming, the patterns we develop throughout life, the goal, to help people improve communication, boost personal development, and achieve their goals. Think of it like this. NLP is like studying the instruction manual for your mind. By understanding how you think and communicate, you can learn to leverage that knowledge to be more effective in all areas of your life. Myth 1. It's mind control. Unpacking the puppet master myth. All right. Let's address the elephant in the room. Many believe that NLP is a sinister form of mind control, a way to turn people into mindless puppets. But is it really not a chance? Here's the deal. NLP doesn't have magical mind control powers. You can't implant subliminal messages or force someone to do something against their will. Think about it this way. Have you ever been inspired by a motivational speaker? Did they control your mind? Or did their words resonate with your existing desires and goals? NLP is similar. It's about effective communication. That can influence and persuade. But ultimately, the choice remains with the individual. NLP can help you understand how people process information and tailor your communication accordingly. This can lead to better report, more persuasive arguments, and ultimately, a win-win situation for everyone involved. So, ditch the puppet master image. NLP is more about collaboration than control. Myth 2. NLP, master manipulator or misunderstood method. Another accusation thrown at NLP. It's manipulative. This one deserves a closer look. Now, Manipulation is all about using sneaky tactics to get what you want, often at the expense of others. It's about exploiting weaknesses and hidden agendas. NLP, on the other hand, focuses on open communication and understanding. It's about building rapport, influencing through persuasion, and achieving mutually beneficial outcomes. Think of it like this. A manipulator is like a pickpocket Taking advantage in secret, NLP is more like a skilled negotiator, finding common ground and creating win-win situations. Sure, NLP techniques like mirroring can build rapport, but that's not manipulation. It's simply understanding body language and using it to connect with others on a deeper level. So, is NLP manipulative? Not inherently. It depends on the intention behind its use. Just like any powerful tool, NLP can be used for good or bad. It's all about the user's motives. Myth 3. The charisma myth. Can only superstars use NLP? Now, let's dispel a common misconception. Some folks believe that only charismatic superstars can benefit from NLP. They imagine smooth-talking salespeople or magnetic leaders who seem to have people wrapped around their fingers. But the truth is, 
NLP is for everyone. You don't need to be the life of the party or have a silver tongue. ELP is a set of tools that anyone can learn and use to improve their communication skills. Think about it this way. Imagine a toolbox filled with different wrenches and screwdrivers. Just because you're not a mechanic doesn't mean you can't use these tools to tighten a loose screw or assemble some simple furniture. NLP is similar. It provides techniques that anyone can learn to improve their communication in everyday situations. Whether you're a student trying to connect with your teacher, a business professional wanting to deliver more impactful presentations, or simply someone looking to build stronger relationships, NLP can be a valuable asset. So, ditch the idea that NLP is exclusive to charismatic types. It's a toolbox waiting to be used by anyone who wants to communicate more effectively. Realities of NLP, separating fact from fiction. Now we've tackled the myths. Let's explore the realities of NLP. Can it truly be effective for therapy and personal growth? There are many real life stories of people who have benefited from NLP. Therapists use NLP techniques to help clients overcome limiting beliefs, build self, confidence, and improve communication skills. Individuals use NLP for personal growth, setting, and achieving goals, and fostering better relationships. Testimonials abound. Therapists report success stories of clients overcoming phobias or negative self-talk through NLP techniques. Clients themselves credit NLP with helping them land dream jobs, improve their public speaking skills, or simply communicate more effectively with loved ones. But what about scientific backing? Research on NLP's effectiveness is a mixed bag. Some studies suggest positive results for specific applications, while others haven't found conclusive evidence. It's important to remember that NLP is a complex field, and its effectiveness can depend on the specific techniques used and the practitioner's skill level. So, the reality is, NLP has the potential to be a powerful tool for personal growth and therapy, but more research is needed to fully understand its long-term effects. It's not a magic bullet, but it can be a valuable addition to a therapist's toolkit or a helpful self-improvement strategy. The dark side of NLP. When communication turns coercive, we've talked about the potential benefits of NLP. But let's not be naive. Like any powerful tool, NLP can be misused. Imagine a salesperson using NLP techniques to pressure you into a high-pressure sale, exploiting your vulnerabilities and clouding your judgment, or a cult leader using NLP to manipulate followers and control their behavior. These are dark scenarios, but they highlight the importance of ethics. Just because you can learn to communicate persuasively doesn't mean you should use it to exploit others. NLP practitioners have a responsibility to use their skills ethically and responsibly. Clients should be aware of potential risks and have clear expectations. The focus should be on empowering individuals, not manipulating them. Let's be clear. NLP is not a magic mind control technique, but in the wrong hands, it can be misused to exploit and coerce. It's all about using these powerful tools with integrity and a strong moral compass. Techniques used in dark psychology, walking the line between persuasion and manipulation. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. We mentioned the dark side of NLP, but how exactly can it be misused? Well, some NLP techniques can be exploited by those who operate in the shadows of dark psychology. Take anchoring, for example. In NLP, anchoring is a technique that links an emotional state to a specific word, object, or gesture. Therapists use anchoring to create positive associations for clients. However, someone with malicious intent could misuse anchoring to 
manipulate your emotions. Imagine a salesperson anchoring a feeling of fear or scarcity to a product, pressuring you into a rushed purchase. Mirroring is another NLP technique that can be twisted for dark purposes. Mirroring involves subtly copying another person's body language or speech patterns to build rapport. It's a great way to connect with someone, but a dark manipulator might use excessive mirroring to create an unsettling sense of familiarity, making you feel obligated to agree with their agenda. These are just a couple of examples. It's important to be aware of how NLP techniques can be misused and to approach any situation with a healthy dose of skepticism. Just because someone seems to understand you perfectly or uses similar body language doesn't mean you have to trust them implicitly. Is NLP real or fake? Separating hype from help. All right, let's address the elephant in the room again. Is NLP real or just a bunch of hype? The truth, as with most things, is somewhere in between. Skeptics point out the lack of conclusive scientific evidence for NLP's effectiveness across the board. They argue that many of the benefits can be attributed to the placebo effect, or simply good communication skills. On the other hand, proponents of NLP cite countless success stories and testimonials from therapists and clients who have seen positive results. They argue that NLP provides practical tools for communication and personal growth, even if the scientific backing isn't fully established yet. A psychologist expert said, NLP offers some interesting techniques that can be helpful in therapy, particularly for building rapport and facilitating communication. However, more research is needed to determine its long-term efficacy for specific conditions. On the other hand, a NLP practitioner expert said, NLP has been a transformative tool for myself and countless clients. It empowers individuals to take control of their communication and achieve their goals. While scientific research is ongoing, the real world results speak for themselves. So, the verdict, NLP isn't a magic bullet, but it has the potential to be a valuable tool in the right hands. It's important to approach it with a critical eye and a healthy dose of skepticism, but also to be open to the possibility that it can be a force for positive change, a brush with persuasion. Now, I'll be honest with you. My own experience with NLP wasn't exactly black and white. There was this time I was at a car dealership looking for a new ride. The salesperson was incredibly friendly, mirroring my body language and using terms I'd mentioned earlier. It felt great at first. He seemed to understand exactly what I needed but then, things started to feel a little off. He kept anchoring the conversation to the idea of a limited time offer, creating a sense of urgency. The friendly charm turned into a high pressure sales pitch. Looking back, I realized he was using some NLP techniques, but not for the good. It was a wake up call. NLP can be a powerful tool, but it's crucial to be aware of how it can be misused. That experience definitely made me a more discerning consumer. But it also opened my eyes to the potential benefits of NLP when used ethically. Now, I'm more mindful of communication techniques and how they can influence me. For better or worse, the power of communication used wisely. All right, let's recap. We've delved into the murky waters of NLP, separating myth from reality. We discovered that NLP isn't mind control, but a communication tool with potential benefits and drawbacks. It can be a force for positive change in therapy and personal growth, but it can also be misused for manipulation. The key takeaway, communication is powerful. NLP techniques can be helpful, but remember, knowledge is power. Be aware of how communication can influence you and always approach NLP with a critical eye. NLP isn't some dark magic, but it is a powerful tool. The question is, 
Will you use it to illuminate your path or exploit the shadows? The choice is yours. So, what do you think? Have you ever encountered NLP in action, good or bad? Share your experiences in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going. Did this video challenge your perception of NLP? We all have the power to communicate effectively and ethically. Let's use that power for good. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this deep dive into NLP. And if you're curious to explore more mind-bending psychology topics, hit that subscribe button. We've got tons of fascinating content coming your way. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the world of NLP. We'll see you next time.